Hey, so things might look a little different around here, and that's because my vlog is now Vertigo! It's a new year, and I was really inspired to play around with a new look, reinvent myself, because I love finding new ways of expressing myself. You know that about me. But then I got a little lost, <laughs> so I thought, why not ask for some help? Okay, I'll show you some outfits, and you help me decide to keep or toss. And don't worry, anything tossed will actually be donated. Just moving out of my closet and into somebody else's. First outfit, this one keep or toss. I've had it for about six years, but it still looks pretty new, right? I'll keep it. <gasps> so cute, very me, keep. Barbie, hey, are you cleaning out your closet without me? Uh, oh, I'm gonna stop right there and go talk to my sister real quickly. I'll be right back, come back for part two. Hi, so today at school, we all did these career quizzes to find out different jobs that we should consider that maybe we had never thought of before. I was actually really looking forward to some guidance to help me narrow down all the things that I love. And here's what I got. First female CEO of an environmentally friendly space, bakery, and veterinary office. I did not see that coming. And honestly, I'd never really considered being a CEO before. So I started to research and I found so many amazing women doing so many amazing things. People like Shauna Rhimes, Beyonce Knowles, Jimena Flores, Cher Wang, Pat McGrath, Sonia Perinacci, Ari Hori, Oprah Winfrey. They all have one thing in common. They made a mark in a field they were passionate about. Maybe my career day quiz wasn't so kooky after all. Pace. Okay, so that took a little bit longer than I thought it would. Thanks for coming back. I forgot that I promised Skipper that she would have her dibs on anything I didn't want. So we are adding a new category to the piles. The Skipper <laughs> pile. Hi! Ready to try this again. Keep or toss or Skipper. Skipper. <sighs> Love this. Skipper. All you, Skip. What was I thinking? Skipper. Seriously, Skipper? Ooh, yes. Skipper. What? Yeah, no. that's mine. La, 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 la. Skipper, I'm Skipper, it, I'm and it, I'm Skipper. Keeping it. Nope, nope, nope. Progress. This pile is ready for a new home. This pile is all the stuff I love and will keep. This pile is all the stuff that Skipper wants. Pro tip, if you're looking for a place to recycle old clothes, try your home first. Pace. Hey everyone, I had a bad day today. No particular reason, it happens. I was moping around, not feeling my best. So I started to think of what I could do to make myself feel better. Take a bath, go for a walk, make cupcakes. And then just like that, just thinking about the little things that I love to do actually started to make me feel happier. And then I realized how much power I have to actually make myself feel better. So, since we all need a little help from time to time, I thought I would share what works best for me with you. Aromatherapy. Stay hydrated. Get creative. Go outside. Unplug and read an actual book. Pet a pet. Listen to music. Bake. <laughs> Laugh. Breathe. I feel so much better. Hope you do too. Pace. Hey everyone, today we are going to figure out the distance between the Earth and the Moon. I don't think our house is exactly big enough. It 100% is not big enough, which is why we're gonna use these. Chelsea, would you please take the moon? I mean the ping pong ball. I have wrapped a piece of string nine and a half times around this ball, aka the Earth. You may be asking yourself why. Well, the reason is the distance between the Earth and the moon is nine and a half times the circumference of the Earth. Hmm, I like that word, circumference. Such a good word. So we are going to unravel the string to see how far away the two balls would be, scale-wise. You ready to unravel? Uh-huh. Do I stop yet? No. How about now? Almost. Now? <laughs> I think Chels went down the slide. Chels, are you okay? I'm okay. Wow, it's far. <laughs> it really is. Peace. 
Hi. Since it's my favorite time of the year, I thought it was time to pull a little prank. Watch this. Barbie! <laughs> What's up, Chels? Are you filming? Pay no attention to that camera. Oh, <laughs> will you help me make something to eat? What are you thinking? I'm pretty hungry, like dinner time hungry. Like seafood. All right, let's see what we've got. I get it, seafood. April Fools! You got me, and I can't even be mad because it is so cute. I love April Fools. Me too, as long as it's like this prank, fun and nobody gets hurt. Chelsea, why are there eyeballs on my shaving cream? Oops. <laughs> Nice. Peace. Hey there. Tonight, we are babysitting Brooklyn's god siblings, Jax and Jayla. So, I've put together my top three tips for babysitting to help us out. Oh, yeah. Lay them on us. Come ready to play. Have an arts and crafts project picked out or bring games and puzzles with you or movies to watch. I have to switch it up so we can keep the fun going all night long. That is so Great. Variety keeps it fun. Be open to communication before you even start. Ask for a list of contacts from the parents so you can call someone if you need to. You don't know what you don't know, you know? Exactly. And my final tip is be active and fun. No kid likes a babysitter that's on their phone all night. It's so rude. You and the kids will have way more fun if you're engaged and present. Totally. Those are incredibly helpful tips, Brooklyn. They'll absolutely come in handy tonight. I love spending time with your friends and family, but especially Jack and Jalen. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, this is gonna be a night. Face <laughs> hey. Check it out, everyone. In honor of Earth Day, Brooklyn, Skipper, and I decided to do some backyard camping. <laughs> Obviously, we had to do s'mores, the classic chocolate, ham, and marshmallow to start. But then my dad gave me ideas for all kinds of other flavors. Mm-mm. The PB&Js were my fave. Uh-huh. The best was the Elvis with peanut butter, bacon, and banana. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> the night sky was incredible. We had to stargate. Ah, oh, no. So glad you brought the telescope. It was amazing. Well, one should always be prepared for the amazing. And no party is a skipper party without music and my lantern to set the mood. Ooh, and Skipper told the best ghost story about a headless vampire. And I can't wait to tell Jackson Jayla. It's not too scary for them? No. <laughs> Are you kidding? They'll love it. Just like we loved our camping. Hope you enjoyed watching it and that you can get outdoors to celebrate nature this Earth Day. Peace. Peace. Hey, look who's here with me. My dad. Hi, Barbie's friends. It's been a while since you've seen him here on the vlog, right? Yeah, but I'm not bitter. Dad, I was just saving you up for like the perfect occasion, like National High Five Day, which by the way is a holiday we just both discovered is a real thing. And it's like the best holiday ever. We gotta make up for lost time. Celebrate like we mean it. That was sounded like a challenge. It's the... How many high fives in a minute challenge? The classic. Up top, down low. Double low, round the back. The running jump, the pirouette, the salute. The dancing five, solo five, the psych. Pinky finger five, hello five, cartwheel five. Oh, that was a lot. Not bad for an old guy. Come on, Dad, you're not that old. I resemble that remark. Thank you for joining us for National High Five Day. Pace five. Ooh. Hey everyone, so May is Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month, honoring the contributions of Asian Americans and Pacific Islander Americans to the history, culture, and achievements of the United States. For me, celebration means food. I brought you one of my favorite Asian foods to try, a lychee. <laughs> So cool. I've seen them in the store before, but I never knew what they were. Well, they grow on trees like this, but before you can eat them, you have to peel them and they have a pit inside, so don't eat that. Mm, it's like um rosy watermelon flavor. Yeah, that's actually a good way to describe it. So what kind of dishes would you cook with them? Soups, main dishes, salads, or my favorite, Cheesecake! Including Asian flavors into recipes from other cuisines is a great way to mix it up. And so tasty. Thanks for sharing, Renee. Thanks for trying something new. Peace. Peace. 
Hey there, Renee has suggested a very fun and very yummy way to educate me on some of the many contributions Asian Americans and Pacific Islander Americans have made to our culture and history. I chose the Hot Wings Challenge! Yay! There are so many different kinds of hot sauces from so many different Asian cuisines. So are you ready? Yeah, let's do this! Name a building designed by Chinese American architect I am Pei. The Grand Louvre in Paris. Next, name three AAPI athletes while I try the goju jong because it smells so yummy. Yuna Kim, the figure skater, and oh, football player and coach Kevin Mawe, and um, Naomi Osaka. Yes, uh, Naomi Osaka. Name your greatest AAPI hero. Easy, my Nai Nai, my grandma. I mean, she's brave, she's strong, she's so much fun. She does be really good at this challenge. Hi, Nai Nai. Thanks for sharing, Renee. Peace. Peace. Hey, Renee here. Something serious is happening and it's affecting me in a pretty personal way. So I asked Barbie if I could talk about it. I'm talking about racism against the AAPI community. So I thought I'd drop in to give you guys some jumping off points on how to be an AAPI ally. Learn about the things Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders have been through so you can understand and recognize discrimination when you see it. If you see someone being discriminatory or racist, do something. If it's safe, you can just call out the behavior directly, like, hey, that's not okay. And finally, check in with your AAPI friends. Sometimes I just need a friend to listen. Thank you so much for sharing these tips with us, Renee. Now it's time to put them into practice as allies. Peace. Peace. Okay, we're ready for this. I mean, we're ready for this, right? Yeah, we're, we're totally ready for this. We're doing it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Last, Last move, move, first move, move challenge! challenge. You took Bhangra lessons! That's why you are my favorite. Thanks, Barbie. You're my favorite, too. Pace. Pace! Hey, everyone! Okay, so have you ever had, like, the truest intentions to do something good for your soul, but it didn't quite work out the way that you had planned? Yeah. Welcome to Barbie's Yoga Outtakes, the Taffy Edition. even better than you could have planned. Peace! Jackson, Jayla, ready? Three, two, one! Happy, Happy Father's, Father's Day. Day! We love you, Dad, so much. So Barbie is helping us make this video just for you. That's right. So what do you guys want to say to them? Dad, we love how you teach us so much stuff. Your goofy jokes and you never get mad, even when we really mess up. And Papa, we love how you always play basketball with us. Your big hugs and how your laugh makes us laugh. And how you let us have two desserts when Dad isn't home. Shh. Just saying, we have the best dads in the world. Yes, we do. I love this so much. Is there anything that you want to say to the people who will see this on my vlog? We know our family might not look the same as other families. But we share the same love for each other. Family means love, no matter what it looks like. That is so true. Thank you for reminding me that not every family looks the same. I always love hearing about the adventures your family has together. Is there anything else you want to say? Happy, Happy Father's, Father's Day. Day! Peace! Hi! As you can see, 
Skipper and I are playing the headphone challenge. Hey, you are talking really loudly. What? Can you not hear me? I'll talk, you listen, then answer. Got it? I think. Perfect. She can't hear anything, so this is going to be great. First question, what is my name? Oh, rugby. <laughs> Doing great. Uh, what's your favorite color? Uh, my favorite melon is watermelon. Who is your favorite sister? My favorite teacher is Mrs. Williams. No, no, no. Who's your favorite sister? Oh, my dog's name is Taffy. <laughs> Okay, last one. Who is your celebrity crush? My, my what? Ken. Oh. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What did I just say? Too late. You said it and they all heard it. <laughs> I said Ken was my best friend. What did you ask? Pace. Oh, no, 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 no pace, no pace. Okay, are you ready for the yes or no challenge, Ken? You know it. Oh, I, I see what you did there. Okay, so I ask you if you want something in this box, and then you say yes or no. It's right there in the name. Yes or no. Yes, but when you say yes, that means you have to eat it. So, would you like what's in this box, Ken? No. Are you sure? Yes. Yes, like you're sure, or yes, like you want it? No, yes, I mean no, like no and oh. No. Okay. Pizza? C can I have a bite? Well, you said no, so no. I don't think I like this game. Okay, yes or no? Hmm, no. Oh, come on, Cake! You are not very good at this game. I think you're cheating. Y you must be cheating. Yes! Oh, this was your way of getting me to eat smelly cheese! What? It's a delicacy! A smellicacy? Eating stuff you can't see is not the best idea. Oh, definitely not. But you said yes, so... The, the smell... <laughs> Not bad. Not good either, but not terrible. Hey, Barbie here on my birthday. So Malibu told me to meet her here at school to get my gift, but uh, I don't see her anywhere. Apparently, she's making me work for it. Roses are red, violets are blue. Hitting the books here is fun to do. Got it. This is our favorite place to study. And another clue. Have you seen some flowers? Violets, perchance. Go to the room where we love to dance. Oh, girl, you know I know this one. So, I found these gorgeous flowers. And another clue. Fame and fortune come and go. The fun of this place is putting on a show. That is one place I know so well. Did you see that? Hello? Surprise! <laughs> Happy birthday! Best present ever. Best friend ever. <laughs> Pace! Pace! Hi. So, you've probably heard me say this before, but I really try to do my best to live a sustainable lifestyle. And one of the best ways to do this is by helping out animals and other little creatures that might be struggling to live their best lives because of disappearing habitats. Which brings me to today's project. Do you know what this is? It's a bee hotel. <laughs> Don't feel bad if you didn't know that. I didn't know and I've seen them all around my neighborhood. A bee hotel is a home for solitary bees like mason bees. So it's a safe place for them to lay their eggs and store their pollen. All you're gonna need is an empty container, some tubes, I use rolled up magazine pages, and a string to hang it with. Roll up the magazine pages into tiny tubes, pack them in tightly, and then use the string to hang it in the sun facing south. I can't wait to put them everywhere. Giving bees a safe place to store pollen and to nest is good for everyone. So check out the description below for more info. Case. Hello, so I've been thinking a lot about mermaids lately for some reason. Oh, I don't know, might be because, you know, getting to be one. Yeah, yeah, maybe. And at first you didn't believe, right? Um, I'm a realist. I know. So this is a perfect tutorial for you and for you other realists out there. We are going to create some gorgeous fish scale. Nothing fishy about that. Mm. Our dads would be so proud of you for that joke. To create this look, you will need a soft mesh bag, a blush brush, and some bright eyeshadow. Is that the bag avocados come in? It is. I like to upcycle, but you can use anything with a grid pattern on it. First step for the base, the darker color. Ooh, that's some drama. <laughs> Wait for this next part. You take the mesh and you put it on the skin and you put that lighter highlight color on top of it. And Ooh. voila! <laughs> it looks so good. So how do you feel about mermaids now? Believe in the impossible. Yeah. <laughs> Pace. 
Hey everyone, I've been wanting to do a video like this for the vlog. I'm meeting up with Barbie, Rafa, and some of our other Handler friends later at the movies to kick off the weekend. I am feeling so vibrant and excited to hang out with my friends. I really want my braids to match my mood. Come get ready with me as I try on different looks. So this is an option. I love my braids. They are so worth the time and the commitment. I wear them down when I wanna feel relaxed, but for a Friday night at the movies, I don't know, I might wanna dress it up a little more. This one is a classic look, and I love to pair a bun with some big, bold statement earrings. It's also great for dance, and it just boosts my confidence, but for a Friday night at the movies, I think we can go even more bold. I got an idea. Yes? Yes, yes, the double buns with extensions. This is perfect. So it looks like everyone is already there and I am running behind. Thank you so much for getting ready with me. Peace. Hey everyone. So one of the super fun ways that we are celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month is learning something new from my good friend, Rafa. Hola, I am here to teach you a salsa step. As a proud Puerto Rican, I am so excited to share my heritage with you for Hispanic Heritage Month. Ready to salsa? First, we're gonna step forward with our left foot, then step with our right foot in place, and then bring our left foot back. Where did you learn to do this? Mi abuela taught me. Salsa was made popular by many New York Puerto Ricans like her in the 50s and 60s. Tito Puente, Yolanda Rivera, and Hector Laveau. Second part, and step back with our right foot instead. Ready? Did you know that Puerto Rico is part of the US? I did, and that means that I don't need a passport to go visit, right? See, si. so once we're done here, you can hop on a plane with me and visit me familia. <gasps> yes, please. So ready to put parts one and two together? One, two, like three. Yeah, that's it. You catch on so quick. <laughs> Thank you, Rafa, for sharing your heritage with us. Peace. Peace. Okay, everyone, I have something really exciting I want to share with you, but I have to be kind of fast. Brooklyn is out running errands with her mom, and I want to do this vlog to surprise her. You all know how much I love Brooklyn. She is so kind and so smart and so creative. She's created her own digital diary. It's called Barbie Life in the City, and it's a tour of the fabulous place that is New York, but through her eyes. And I'm just so unbelievably excited that my bestie is going to share more of herself with all of you. I really hope you'll check it out when she starts posting. Hey, Barbie, we're home. I'll be right down. I am just getting everyone super hype about your digital diary. What? Malibu, thank you so much for the shout out. I'm so excited to share my NYC with everyone. You heard it here first. I hope you will check out Brooklyn's story, Barbie, life in the city. I'm so proud of my bestie, Pace. Hey. Come with us on our tour of Handler. The, the cafeteria. cafeteria. Yeah. Ooh. Our lockers. Yeah. The dance room. Uh-huh. Our, our classroom. classroom. We, we love, love you, Handler. Pace. Hey everyone. So Skipper got me this really cute job filter to try out with you. Oh, photographer. I love capturing those special moments with my sisters and friends. Scientist, I have always wanted to experiment and learn more about this world around us. Is that interior designer? I mean, I like expressing myself and finding the best use of space, so that's interesting. Yeah. Pediatrician, aw, I love kids, so cute. A chef, yes, I love cooking for my friends and family, so this totally makes sense. That was such a fun filter, but the coolest part of it was actually getting to see myself in these possible jobs of what I might wanna be when I grow up. The future really has endless possibilities for girls, women, anyone. You can be anything. Pace. Today, I was thinking about just how awesome my mom is. She's an engineer, and her curiosity for how things work started when she was a kid. She would build models of buildings that she saw around town with blocks. She would practice her paper airplane folding over and over again, knowing that this fold made it go faster and this fold make it twirl. She even fixed my grandfather's broken old radio that he kept in the garage when she was a kid. My mom is always inspired by the world around her. So I'm always looking in the world around me for that spark of an idea. So let's see what we can find around us here today. I could be a DJ. 
I could be an architect. I could be a baker. I could totally be a fashion designer. Thanks, Mom, for teaching us to find inspiration all around us, even at home. I love you. Peace. Hi, I have something pretty close to my heart that I would like to talk about with you all today. October is National Bullying Prevention Month. Researchers who have studied bullying have found that the best way to stop bullying is by being a good friend. You all know that being a good friend is everything to me, but I found some ways to be an even better friend and hopefully help stop bullying. Here's one. If you see someone new, reach out to them so that they feel comfortable. Include them or anybody being bullied into activities with your other friends so they feel safe and like they belong. And finally, be an upstander, which is exactly what it sounds like. <laughs> Stand up for people being bullied. Ask the bully to stop. Report what you saw to an adult. If you're at school, you can even offer to take your bullied friend and walk them to the principal's office so they don't have to report it by themselves. Upstanders take action by being courageous and compassionate. I hope you will be an upstander with me. Pace. So, Halloween is coming up, and we have all been in that situation where we, oops, need a Halloween costume but have absolutely nothing. Well, I have a great, very simple idea for you. All you need is a backpack, an apple, and a sticker. And voila, you're our student of the month. Pretty good, right? Yeah, okay, so I should probably get back to studying so I can have the chance to actually be the real student of the month, you know, in real life. <laughs> Face. Camping season is here, and I wanted to tell you about the worst, scariest, Barriest camping experience that I've ever had. All because of this. Dun dun dun! It all started the last time Brooklyn and I went camping. It was the middle of the night, and there was a scratching sound on the tent. I was pretty sure that it was a bear, but this was the really scary part. I turned on my flashlight and saw the bear canister was still inside the tent! Bear canisters hold all your food and are supposed to be kept outside the tent so the bears don't want to come inside the tent. In a panic, I grabbed the canister and realized it's a water jug. So it turns out that Brooklyn actually had put our bear canister outside the tent, far, far, far from the tent where it should be. Word to the wise, when you go camping, go with someone responsible like Brooklyn. Also, maybe don't have a water bottle that looks just like your bear canister. And it wasn't a bear, it was a branch. Peace. Hello. It is such a beautiful day outside, I wanted to come and spend some time in the garden. As you can see, we are planting tomatoes, carrots, those are the tops, the rest are underground, and oh, look, a worm! They're so cute, right? Worms are amazing. They eat all kind of stuff that's decaying in the soil and turn it into nutrients to help the plants grow. So. If you ever see a worm, you just let them keep doing their little wormy thing. Okay, let's cover this one back up with lightly packed soil. Comfy cozy, and I've got some weeding to do. Paste. and wonder from our house to yours. Peace. I love the holiday season. The music, the cheer, the cocoa. The thing that brings me the most joy is giving gifts. When you give with your heart, you don't have to look very far for the perfect gift. Like this old soccer ball that I gave Stacy. She says it's her lucky ball because she scored her very first goal with it. Oh, you okay? And this is Kelsey, who I gave to Chelsea. She used to be mine, but Chels loves her so much because we share that special bond. 
and this adorable sweater that I didn't exactly give to Skipper as much as she took it, but she loves it so much. You can keep it, Skip. And this is a brand new video game that I bought for a charity drive at the mall. And I am just so grateful that I could make someone happy with it. New or old, the best present you can give someone is one that fills their heart. Happy holidays. Case.